Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your weekly tarot check for the week of June 7th through June 14th. This is for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And I just want to thank all of you who have been supporting the channel by watching the readings, certainly the comments, the likes, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate that. And if you're new here, I'd love to have you as a subscriber where we are raising our collective vibration, so join us. Um, if you tap the bell, you'll be notified when new videos are posted. That's about every week, so if you don't want the notifications, just check back once a week. I do a weekly, I do monthlies, mid-month, and then I also have a love tarot that I've added on the first Friday of the month, but I'm gonna change that, I think, to the first Thursday. But either way, it'll be available that first week. So let's see what the guidance is here for Aquarius. Guidance for Aquarius, please. June 7th through June 14th for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Here we go. Now again, we use our human timeline here, but we're dealing with the mystic, okay? So keep that in mind. <laughs> Spirit doesn't really fall into one week time periods, but we do because it helps us organize. On Sunday, you have the Hanged Man. Monday, you have the Moon. Tuesday, you have the Seven of Cups. Wednesday, you've got the Queen of Pentacles. Thursday, you have the Six of Pentacles. Friday, you've got the Eight of Wands. Saturday, you've got the World. And then Sunday, you've got the Page of Cups. I haven't had this in a while for anybody. I do feel like you have somebody that wants to come back in. It feels very clear. It feels, um, certainly could be a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like they left and they want to come back around. Um, it just feels, it, you know, like they went off thinking the grass would be greener somewhere else. Um, but they've had some growing up to do, that's for sure. So now, of course, that's not all contained in one week, but I do feel like you're going to get communication from them in some way. So you've got the hanged man. Great day on Sunday to meditate, raise your own vibration, go within. And, you know, this is really about changing perspective, okay? Um, you know, it's, it's a card in the tarot. It's oftentimes associated with fours. So if, you know, for instance, this person left four months ago or four years ago, that certainly could be. But it's a time of really letting go you know, letting go of a need to be right and a need to control a situation. So the hangman sits back and looks at the situation, um, but there's a real spiritual energy on Sunday. It's, I feel like there's a peace that comes to you. There's a real peace on Sunday um, and it will, it, it could seriously affect this whole thing. Um, so you have the moon on Monday, and this is a great time to set your intentions. It's Pisces energy. Um, so for those of you that have an interest in reconciling with somebody, write your intentions down. Look for their positive aspects. Um, really, you know, there's deep emotions here. But again, it's a, there's a journey, a difficult journey has been here. And I feel like there's been some things that have not been brought to light. There may be some things hidden here beyond just emotions. Um, some things that didn't have, didn't come forward. But you know, when the universe takes, takes two steps, you only have to take one. Okay. So you take the first step and the universe will take two. What is meant for you will not miss you. All right. It will come around. So, um, I feel like, like I said, this, this person has, has been looking at options, but it's like it's not the right fit for them. Um, they just haven't, they haven't seen anyone that they've been that interested in, and they've realized that they still have love for you. Um, I, I definitely feel that. Now, I do feel like money is good this week, too. Um, so there's a lot of things going on here where I feel like for some of you, too, you're looking around and recognizing the stability that you've had through this whole crazy time and really appreciating it, you know, really kind of standing back in awe. And there's, there's victory here. It's a seven and sevens are always about victory, um, in the tarot. So you've definitely got some, like I said, some success where business and money is concerned. 
And then Wednesday, it shows up again. It shows up a couple more times here. You've got the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So for some of you, you've been very financially prudent, and that definitely has paid off. You may be looking at acquiring something new for yourself. Like some of you may go out, um, if you haven't been out to the malls and things in a while, you may go out and go shopping. And for somebody, they're, gonna, they're interested in buying new work clothes. I get that, like new suit, nice clothes for work. Um, they're doing some shopping and they're feeling overall very good about things. Um, somebody else, I, I just keep getting that somebody needs to buy a suit and it, for somebody else, it feels like they're buying it for their kid. Like they have a kid who graduated from college and needs an interview suit and it's a great time. It really is. It's like they're having fun doing it and just kind of giving some guidance about, you know, okay, yeah, the economy's in a free fall, but there's still going to be jobs. And I get this pep talk along with it. So for somebody, whoever that's for, they're buying a suit for their kid and giving them a nice pep talk in the meantime. Um, but Thursday, you've got a nice energy here. You've got the Six of Pentacles, and that's reciprocal energy, right? There's balance here. Libra energy's here too, but it's Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Um, you, you know, it, it's like, again, I feel like somebody's giving something, giving a gift, and it's just a really, uh, it's nice to do that, you know, um, and even like now that things are coming back on, when we're tipping, giving a little more money. Um, so for some of you, if you work in an industry where there's tips, you're going to see an in increase in the tips that you're getting where people feel bad, you know, because workers have been furloughed and they've been scraping to get by and you know there's a lot of people that haven't been that have even their business has increased during this and they're going to give back so for those of you where you're getting tips and things you are going to see more you're going to see bigger tips in the next couple of weeks here you've got the eight of wands here and again this is movement um in the tarot this means movement and it's quick communication it comes in suddenly I feel like it kind of knocks you back a little bit, like you weren't quite expecting it. But I definitely feel there's somebody that wants to communicate with you. I do feel like it's a love interest. Um, you know, like I said, where there was a in and out and they left and they looked around and didn't see anything that even comes close to comparing and realized they did something very foolish. I do think they want to come back because then later you have the Page of Cups too. I think there's a connection there for sure. You've got on Saturday, you've got the world here. And yes, this is a conclusion of a cycle, but she dances in the wreath of victory. She's victorious. This is also the final major arcana. So it's when the, the soul is fully ascended. So whoever this is, they have done a lot of growing up. Both of you have. Um, you may be saying, well, I didn't need it like they did. But they've definitely made personal gains. No doubt about it. This is somebody who was immature and narcissistic and irresponsible but i use the term narcissistic loosely i don't say it as a true full-blown personality disorder it wasn't certainly not to that point they were more a better word for it would be uh, self-centered somebody who was self-centered and insecure but they i think have done some things to look at themselves and to recognize that and they are looking they're going to look for a second chance with you i can tell you that um on Sunday, you've got this Page of Cups. And again, this is a manifestation card. It's a Law of Attraction card. So you have somebody that is going to bring an offer forward. I feel like they are going to contact you looking for maybe a drink or coffee, something kind of casual. Um, and in it, they're going to not disguise, they're going to kind of guise it under just, you know, seeing how you're doing, very casual. Um, for some of you, I think it's related to this other Queen of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, where I mentioned taking care of one of your kids, that comes through too, where you've got somebody who needs some guidance and just some, you know, experience. They need to have somebody give them their experience and wisdom here, and that will be on Flag Day too, by the way, for those of you that are into Flag Day, that is on that Sunday. So very nice overall energy, though. It is about moving forward with, with success. So if you're looking for love, we have an oracle card to attract it here. Choose love. You always have a choice and make yours with love. So even for those of you who are like, I do not want that narcissistic asshole back, you know, ha handle it with love. Because when you do that, you attract more love to you, okay? So, um, you know, because when we, when we engage in low vibrational conversations and behaviors, 
it just attracts more aggravation into our awareness so be aware of that if you don't want somebody and they contact you so we'll stop we'll conclude with asking it is given here from Abraham Hicks why are they not getting what they're asking for if people are not receiving what they're asking for it can only be that the person holding the desire are out of alignment with their own requests there is no shortage there is no lack there is no competition for resources there's only the allowing or disallowing of that which one is asking for so I mean even when you look at like something that you know we start to term big and little oh it's easy to manifest a cup of coffee it's hard to manifest the lottery that's our own ego identification because really there's lots of people that win the lottery I mean there's you know think of all the shows that are about it and things like that and they guess what they were standing in your physical shoes they were standing right where you're standing now and were able to do it so you can really have do or be anything if you can see it in your mind you can create it in your reality so i love you so much aquarius and i'll be back again soon